Hi friends! So here's the cell again and this time I want to talk about time and not losing time from the perspective of people who are in their 50s. Because interestingly, I've uh, had uh, two or three people, I think, reach out to me recently saying that they didn't know what to do in life uh, because they've had certain careers and they have had certain um, uh, achievements, but uh, it felt like it's now time to do something meaningful, but they didn't really know what that is and they didn't want to waste any more time uh, um, since their life or their time on this earth is limited. This was the, um, the way that uh, the stories have been presented. Now, from that I could gather is that the goal that they have that they're not recognizing is that they don't want to lose time uh, doing things that they don't want to do and they want to do something meaningful. So they think that they don't have the goal, but that's the goal. And the other irony that you could see from this is that the more we uh, constrain ourselves to think that I need to, um, uh, I need not to lose my time, the more we're paralyzing ourselves with our lots of different thoughts, and the more we're not actually going for things uh, that we consider meaningful to do. So I just wanted to point out this interesting uh, trend that some of us may have, uh, especially believing that uh, by the time I'm 50 or when I'm 50, uh, my life is somehow limited now. Until then, we don't really think about, maybe many of us at least, maybe don't really think about whether our time is limited uh, on this world or not, but when we approach uh, 50, it seems like, according to these people at least, that they start thinking, okay, I really want to spend my time meaningfully um, uh, and I want to uh, change things and do things differently um, and I want to use my time wisely. But they're not really thinking that this is their goal, but in the end of the day, when uh, you uncover it, this is their goal. But they keep believing that they don't know what that meaningful thing is and they keep believing that they're stuck. So you can see that because we are constraining ourselves with our thoughts that our time is limited or I don't want to uh, uh, lose any more time or I don't want to waste any more time, the more we get into that scarce mindset, the more we're actually not doing anything and we're instead spending time thinking. Now, I'm not saying thinking is bad, and I'm actually encouraging, obviously, a lot of us to observe how we think and see what comes out of it. However, if the goal is to find something meaningful to do, and we don't want to lose time do, uh, doing other things, uh, i.e. things that we don't like, then the obvious answer is that let's define what that meaningful is for you and start actually working on it. But because we are paralyzing ourselves to think that we don't really have enough time or we should be really finding something very quickly uh, or uh, I don't really know what I, I want to do, because of these thoughts, limiting thoughts or beliefs that we're not actually moving forward. So, if that person is you, and I understand from my little sample, but it may also concern you, um, think about it. What is the point of keep waiting when the goal actually is not to lose time? So keep waiting for finding the right answer, keep waiting for the uh, the um, finding the right goal or the meaningful goal when you know that you want to be actually working on that. So instead, the first thing you could do is define what that meaningful is for you and decide what are the things that you would like to do under that category of meaningful and start working on it, acting on it. 
without thinking the time limited or without thinking that uh, your age uh, signifies that uh, that uh, you have limited time on this earth or whatever else that you might be thinking in relation to your age because 50 could simply be as we know half of our lives and another half is left to live and it would be very pity to live life where life that we're not really living but putting on the pedestal and we're just watching how it's passing by because some of the time I imagine whenever we keep thinking and some of these persons were telling me that they were thinking about it for five years and I'm thinking that in those five years that I'm not really doing things that I think meaningful then I feel like my life would be just passing by in front of me and I'm not living it and I would love for all of us to live it, design it, decide it, and decide the meaningfulness the way that we want. And go for it without thinking any limitations, without thinking any um, scarcity that might be out there. Which obviously is not the case because our all of our thoughts about age is our mental construct. So, note that the more you think that your time is limited, the more you think that you cannot waste time, you might be paralyzing yourself to move forward. And that has to stop. If you want to use your time for doing things that you consider meaningful, rather than keep thinking about what that meaningful is. So the more you think you don't know what to do, the more you think you are stuck, the more your brain is concentrated on that and it has no capacity or little capacity to concentrate on actually building the meaningful thing that you want to build or working on that meaningful thing. So that's why I hope that you will take this suggestion and ask you yourself, what are you waiting for? If the goal is to spend life and time meaningfully, amazing, let's see and let's ask yourself if your current way of spending time is meaningful. If the answer is no, then go find an answer to what is meaningful and find that and start working on it. So my friends, have a wonderful Thursday. Bye.